Hey, I'm AKA Bog, and I've got the captain with me today. We're going to go into one of his books, which is just this gorgeous book. You can see Star Trek Stellar Cartography, the Starfleet Reference Library. And he brought this over, and we've been having fun looking at it. And we thought we would just dig in and share it with everybody. A uh, quick reminder we do have mugs on the website. So, akabog.com, if you want to check it out. We got some mugs, and otherwise, let's dig into this book. What's up, Captain? Yo, long time no see. Let's see, you're on the bridge. Yeah, <laughs> TOS Bridge. It's beautiful, love it. So, I got this book um, a few years ago during Christmas. Um, I kind of bought it just as a, um, I've always been kind of looking at it on Amazon. I think it was $79.99. So, it was like kind of like a treat yourself? Yeah, um, I had a bu whole bunch of Amazon gift cards, and um, it is absolutely incredible. Um, so it's pretty thick here. It's a great addition to your Star Trek library. It's a beautiful presentation. It folds out. Hold it up. So yeah. So I'm gonna open it up. Here, here. you want to go back to the table cam? And yeah, we'll let's do that. All right, here. Let me uh, let me do a quick transition. Go buy some mugs. Don't forget, we got mugs. Lots and lots of mugs for sale on the website. We haven't sold any yet, so please buy one. <laughs> so it starts out, um, Star Trek Stellar Cartography Reference Library. We've got a cool shot of the Enterprise D here. Um, and then so it opens up and yeah, I'm just it's it got like a whole, it's got two sections. First of all, you've got a section of maps. And we'll go over through all the maps here in a second. I was say, yeah, why but don't you give me one and I'll hold it up while on, you're talking about it. Yeah, like on this side you have four different maps. Um, so we'll go we'll start with, give, you, give Bog that one here. So yeah, this is the history of the United Federation of Planets map. And it's say. huge. It's so it, says, yeah. it's pretty sweet. It comes with a Federation map comes with Vulcan maps, Cardassian maps, it's got the um, Dominion map on there of their mapping of the um, known federation. This one is super detailed, it's got all of the planets in the federation, it's got all of the, um, if you go a little bit over you can kind of see um, the different um, empires and stuff. You have the Gorn hegem hegemony, you've got the um, all the different planets in the Federation. Um, you have the Romulan Empire, you've got the Tholian Assembly, you've got the Breen, you've got the Klingon Empire in there as well. Um, I mean, it's fantastic. So this one just kind of brings together yeah. a lot of everything. And these are supposed to be official maps from each race. That's super cool. S yeah, I mean, it, they're really detailed maps. Um, and if you, I mean, you could study them for like an hour and kind of see where all the different. Um, this one is one sided, so it's all set for framing. Exactly. I think that's kind of the point of this. Um, and then you've got. I'll have you just check out the vault. Yeah, just hand them off to me and talk about them. Here, I was going to say, do you want to go back on camera or you want to keep it on the boat? Here, let's show off the rest of the interior real quick. Yeah. And so, then, as you open up the book, you've got. Two, two panels here. So you open it up, you got two panels. Um, there, you get a total of eight maps, four maps on each side, and then in the middle is an actual hardcover bound um, book here called Stellar Cartography. Selections from the Federation Astronomy Library. So it's a really cool. It goes into um, this whole table of contents here, so it goes into like kind of the history of the Federation there. Um, and then it goes into describing all the maps. Um, and it goes, so map one here, known space. Uh, let's see here. We don't need to go through page by page. But yeah, um, so it, it basically breaks down each map. Oh, okay, so it gives you more detail. Right. And then, That's cool. um, so there are a total of eight of them. A lot of text in there you can read and check out each one, but it kind of describes each map. But I think this product is awesome. Stellar cartography. Um, the map that Bog is holding. I up, say here, let's do a quick plug. 
mugs. Go buy mugs. We're plugging our mugs hard, right? Uh, and then let's go back and you can talk about what I'm holding up. So, Bog is holding up the Vulcan map currently. That was the one you said is your favorite. Dude, that one's my favorite. On it is Very sick. artistic. Um, I love that sun. The Vulcans, surprisingly, you know, they act like they don't have any emotions or anything, but I mean, I think this one is actually my favorite of all the maps in the entire uh, book. Um, is this like the solar system? Yeah, that's the Vulcan solar system. I love that. Um, all it's in Vulcan pretty. there. Um, they have kind of that desert aesthetic, which, you know, if you've seen the Vulcan landscape, is very desert-like. Um, but yeah, it's that's probably my favorite one. It's probably the most... Um, Say Visually art artistic, artistic. Map. yeah. Yeah. Whereas you know, we just saw the Federation. It's kind of cool and surprising for the Vulcan map, you know. The Federation one, you know, is very like very rigid and yeah, it's very much data versus an artistic display. That's but cool. It fits in there perfectly. Uh, yeah, pull out all the other maps. Let's pull them all up on here. So here we got. Um, let's do. Let's check out this one here. I think this one's the Dominion map. The Gamma Quadrant, the Dominion, yeah. From Deep Space Nine. Um, so this is the map they made for um, kind of how they were going to conquer the, uh, the Delta Quadrant, quadrant or the uh, Alpha Quadrant. It's funny because you have two Gamma Quadrant, the Dominion. And then if you want to go all the way over to the other side, it says to Delta Quadrant, the Borg Collective. But this is kind of the Dominion's interpretation of the Alpha Quadrant and the known universe. Very cool. But yeah, fantastic artwork. Um, this one almost looks like a, uh, I'd say like a watercolor painting. But you can kind of see like, you know, if you know your Star Trek history, um, you know, how big the, the, the Klingon Empire is. And then by this point, the Cardassian Empire Union is super small because they've been kind of pushed back in after their invasion of of the uh, Bajor. What's the next one? So let's look at the, I think this is the Cardassian Union map. And that one's specifically for the Cardassian Empire. Awesome. And the That's Green cool. Confederacy. So this is actually another federation. That's cool how they brought in the different groups to kind of cover everything. And this one talks about too the um, the different the wars and the alliances that kind of formed during the Dominion War. Um, so you have the Badlands. Um, this is a kind of a specific Deep Space Nine map as well. It shows some of the um, battle actions. It yeah, like. it's got the Second Battle of Chintaka. It's got the um, the Return to Deep Space Nine. And it's got the Battle of Cardassia and kind of the troop movements and stuff as well. I want to get the Eagle Moss Cardassian weapons platform model. Awesome. They have it as a shop exclusive. It's sick. Oh, really? Dude, totally, yeah. You know, because I usually only get the Federation ships, but the Cardassian weapons platforms were pretty cool. And the uh, little Eagle Moss model looks sick. Nice. So that's on my list of ones to do an unboxing for eventually. And then, and then real quick, one of the yeah. best... Um, Deep Space Nine episodes. Um, it's on the map here, the Siege of AR-556. Um, it's kind of at the bottom right here. Let me know when I get it on camera. I think you got it. Right here? Yeah, right there. Siege of AR-556. Um, and then you have the loss of the Defiant. The first loss of the Defiant, which was... Man, that one brought me I was on. That was unexpected. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, that was very unexpected. You got the Sao Paulo or whatever, right? Um, we've got another... I would say, yeah, pass me another one. We've got another map here. So a lot of the maps, too, um, I think six. there's four of the eight maps actually connect to make bigger. Like what? A, yeah. They're connecting? You know I like connecting covers on my so comic they have books. That's sick, dude. Four, they have four... So you could frame them and put them all next to each other yeah. and they'd make one big-ass map? They have four different quadrants that map together. That's... That's cool. So this one's the Beta Quadrant, um, which mostly encompasses the Romulan Star Empire, which you can see, and the Klingon Empire. Um, so it's really This one's a vertical, too, which yeah. is different from the formatting so far, right? Yeah. You can see um, the overall map right there. And so you can kind of see the Romulan Neutral Zone. 
um, which was a huge kind of um, major plot in TNG, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. A lot of it was, always, yeah. The Romulans were like the new big bads originally. For them. So, um, and then so that's a federation now because it's very like scientifically oriented. It's cool, stuff. though. I like it. And then at the bottom right, if you could exact, you were just right on it. Go back to where you were. Um, it kind of focuses on the different. Um, so Earth is right in the middle there, and so you kind of that's the middle of the federation basically, and you can kind of see the breakdown of. The Federation for all the universes. How they kind of line up with each other? Um, let's check out this one. This one's a. We did that one. Did we do that one? That was the first one we did, isn't it? Isn't that the first map you had? I think that was a more historical one. No, we have we have did this one. This is the very first map we did. Yeah, we did this one. Let's do it. So well, it's a cool map. Though. I know, it's pretty sweet. Um, Alright, yeah, here, give me another one. So here is the second part of the um, connecting Oh, this map. is like the vertical? Right. Oh, so these two go side by side to give you the alpha and the beta? Yeah. And there's ones like this for the delta and the... I believe so, yeah. That's sick, dude. I would so frame those and hang those on my wall. That's too fucking cool, man. That's so awesome. that one's the alpha quadrant, and that's upside down. Flipping upside down. down? No wonder I'm having trouble. So okay, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think I think there the we two, go. That's cool. I, I so like the, that. So the two connecting maps are the alpha and the beta quadrant. Okay. So it's two connecting ones. Two vertical connecting maps. That's sick. With the federation right down the middle. Yeah. Um, but this one, I mean, you can see pretty much everything from the Tholian um, assembly. You've got the Cardassian Union in there. You've got the Ferengi. Um, you've got the First Federation. Um, and this one is the perspective of the Federation is kind of the middle of the universe of the galaxy there. Oh, it's right on the split on the quadrant. Give me a break. Awesome. Yeah. So there's two. So it's not four, but it's two, two that you can connect. Yeah, that's super sick. And then this one. I mean, it's the the first Imperial Klingon Empire. Oh, this is the Klingon map? Sick. Yep. This is going to be cool. All right. This Very cool. artistic. You can kind of tell the differences between the Federation maps and the, all the other ones. Like, this one seems very artistic as well. It's all in Klingon. Um, I can't cool. read Klingon, of course, but... Come on! Kapla. I can't read Klingon either. Um, but yeah, that's the Klingon Empire. I love, that. that's I love the the huge logo. That's in the a really middle. nice version. Yeah, I um, like that. So that's the Klingon Empire. There we go. More Klingon. For those who have time to learn fake languages. And I think Kronos is the um, the gold one in the middle. That's bigger text. Great. Yeah, I believe that that would probably be cool. So thanks for letting me finger all your uh, beautiful maps, by the way. Here. <laughs> and then we've got the Cardassian Union here. <laughs> all right, all right. And this, I, th I believe, encompassed the... Um, and it's it's got to have some Romulan stuff on it, too, probably, right? Maybe. This is just the Cardassian Empire. So we're going to start... So I think this also included... The um, uh, Bajor. I was gonna say Bajor, maybe. Um, because they, at this point. We own Bajor. Exactly. And it's all in Cardassian, of course. And then in the very top corner, you've got the Federation. The top corner? Yeah, the right, top right corner. Yeah. So it's all in Cardassian, but they put the. Um, Federation translation. Yeah, exactly, in the bottom. I like how each map is just kind of like a little different in its own style. It's a really nice set. Very, very comprehensive. I like it. All right, what's the next one? And then this one is... Is this the last one? This is the last one. This one I or think no, is... Two more, two more. This one's one of my favorites. Um, so this is the Romulan. So let's start with the position of the Romulan Empire. Okay. So That's this the Romulan one. map. This one is? Yeah. No? Okay. So that one goes over the entire Romulan Empire, which I think is freaking cool. 
as the whole neutral zone. Um, the uh, of course the Romulans are kind of the top baddies in all of Star Trek, in my opinion. Um, TNG, they were the, the main intended one. I love the Romulan logo too. That's sick. It's a really nice map. I like this. I'm gonna have to give me a set of these. This is cool. We're gonna have to do an episode of this too with the Star Trek blueprints, dude. Oh, yeah. I like this format, by the way. This is a good idea. Um, and then this one is the Romulan War with the Federation. Oh, cool. So this is the Federation. This is another vertical. Romulan Federation. So was that like three verticals and four others, or are there yeah. four verticals? Yeah, three verticals. Okay. Um, the the two um, beta and alpha quadrants connect, but this is like very early. So on. is this Enterprise? Era, that would be basically, that okay. would be Enterprise. That's cool era. that they included that. That's cool. That's cool. I didn't realize that. Okay. Because like, the early... I was thinking modern Romulans like TNG and stuff, and that's cool. It's actually the because this is like pre Federation. Because at the bottom here, you have got you've got. Earth, and then did you, you ever read any of the Enterprise books on the Romulan War? I did. I, I read three of them. They're pretty good. So this one's cool because you've got you have Earth kind of off to the left, but you have Andoria and Vulcan, which are the two kind of founding members of the Federation, along with Tellarites, and then you have Denobula Prime, which is kind of a callback to Doctor Phlox, who is Denobulan. But then you also have Romulus and Remus as the two main planets in the Romulan Empire. But then you also have on the right side the, the um, kind of the, the battles and the um, true movements in the Romulan Empire. That's sick. War. Dude, that's sick. All right. Awesome. So that's so yeah. Star Trek Stellar Cartography. A total of eight maps um, come with this set. Dude, that's fucking that's um, and cool. And then the, the book in the middle here, as I showed earlier. Um, yeah, I think it is a fantastic set if you're a Star Trek fan. Um, it kind of gives you, kind of gives you a different perspective as you're watching the series. You get to kind of see where everything is located. Because um, when you're watching it, you're like, oh, the, the Enterprise is like patrolling the neutral zone, but it's kind of nebulous. You don't really know where the neutral zone is, right? Like they don't really describe where the neutral zone is. But you can like pull out a map and be like, let me see your cover real quick. For the book? Yeah, yeah. I want to see which edition we got. Alright. I'm looking it up on Amazon. So, dude, yeah. You can't even buy it anymore. Dude, there's like, okay, there's used copies available. Oh my gosh. So, for the edition that you've got, which. Let me see here. I don't even know what edition this is. I got this as a first edition. I it is it a first it, edition? When it first came out. Okay. So, this one. There's four new on Amazon, 145 bucks. And I got there four. are used copies available, starting at 47 dollars. So that's not too bad, if they're if they're actually intact. I wouldn't buy a used one, especially of this one, because you want all the maps. You want to make sure all the maps. Right. That's the tricky one. Yeah, I'm looking. Uh, oh my God, the cheap one, dude. 46.99, the cheapest one. This is book only, not additional maps. What's the point? Dude, so you really got to be careful right. when you you're looking. You may as well buy it new. Just yeah, drop the one for absolutely. you to get it new. I bet those are sets that people had the maps framed. Yeah. And like yeah, dude. It's the same thing as that William Henry Palmer book. You know which right. one I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Because they released it in like the bound edition and the unbound edition. And like you never find the unbound edition because everybody framed the shit out of it. Yeah. But like, Not to get into weird books, but... But like, why would you... <laughs> Why would you buy this set without the maps intact? Like that's dude, that's the whole point, dude. I guarantee you, those ones that are selling without the maps are probably someone framed it, and it's somebody right. who's trying to sell the book and doesn't know what's going on. I mean, the book is cool, but like the the main star mm, of the whole book, is it's the not maps. a forty seven dollar book without the maps, bro. Dude, I would uh, those would be so cool framed in like the man cave, dude, man, like the Star Trek cave. I like it. And we'll have to do the blueprint one as well. Cause Let's do that next time, sweet. yeah. That was a good format. Anyways, Star Trek yeah. pros and cons. We That's got the, the... AK Bog and the Captain One Seven Zero One here. Um, we've been on a little bit of a break over the holidays, just kind of recuperating and getting everything lined up. Uh, but we're we're gonna do uh, Star Trek Picard reviews. Yes. Um, as that series starts coming out, that's our intention. 
and hopefully we've got we've got new series ideas too like uh, shuffle trek and some other stuff coming up shuffle trek will be super we fun. gotta get it going uh, I've got at least four more unboxings lined up too for Star Trek ships coming up those online ships are pretty cool I love those on, online yeah preview the next one is the USS Shran Commander Shran one of my favorites one of the yeah. most Underrated best characters. I did a video, Combs. pros and cons, well, yeah. Trek 101 on Commander Shran, so check that, check that one out. That's one of my favorites. Um, Jeffrey Combs, probably one of the best Star Trek secondary actors of all time, in my opinion. Yeah. Anything else? I'm good. Uh, just... Pros and cons, thank you guys for watching, checking in. We really appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for um, Stay tuned. We have a lot planned. We, uh, we're going to do a lot more. And remember, for like the thousandth time, Go buy some coffee mugs. Please buy a mug. We, no, one, no one's bought mugs yet, and we legitimately would love to sell you a mug. I would love to sell you a mug. You can put anything in the mug. Whiskey, tea, coffee. Anything you want to drink out of the mug. It holds them all. I would prefer that you buy the TOS yellow one. I would prefer you buy the TNG Captain's Red. But TOS yellow is better. Captain's Red is better. We know that. But, but TOS yellow is original. So. Get, your, get your mug. Uh, I think we actually offer a discount if you buy both mugs. Oh, really? I, we totally do. I think, it's, I think there's a little discount. We yeah. need to make a blue one for like a doctor. I'm actually going to upgrade the website in a month or two to make the shop a lot better. Too. I'll make, I like give it a lot better tools. So. We should do a red shirt mug. Dude, we should, we should do a lot of mugs. We should come up with some good designs. I agree. All right. That's coming down the pike. Yeah. Pros no and pun cons. intended. Captain Pike. Oh, my God. Star Trek joke. On that note. Outro.